ERP implementation. We all know enterprise resource planning ERP systems address integration issues of business functions and benefits contributed by ERP implementation found in the literature are similar to those achieved through the integration of manufacturing and marketing functions. In this lesson, we will study ERP implementation and ERP implementation methodologies. After going through this presentation, you should be able to describe ERP implementation, explain roles of consultants, vendors and users and explain ERP implementation methodologies. Successful implementation is the obvious goal of any organization that has chosen to go in for enterprise resource planning ERP. ERP implementation is a special event since it involves the entire organization over a period of time. It brings together different functionality, people, procedures and ideologies and leads to sweeping changes throughout the organization. ERP project life cycle can be classified into the following three stages. Stage 1 Pre-implementation stage This phase is the one in which companies must question the need for a new ERP system by the development of the business case analysis is carried out to establish the need for the ERP system. Various methodologies are used to assess the critical processes and practices of that company and also attempts are made to forecast the impact it can have both financially and business-wise. This phase consists of selection of the product that best fits the requirements of the company, thus minimizing the need for customization. Factors such as price, training and maintenance services are analyzed and the contractual agreement is defined. In this phase, it is also important to make an analysis of the return on investment of the proposed solution. Stage 2 Implementation stage. It mainly deals with change management, project management, IT infrastructure management and implementation approach. Due to the implementation of ERP, a lot of change occurs in the company structure and the existing business process. Project management schedules are made in which the project orientation, time, cost and quality are considered. After assessing the company's readiness, decisions for the implementation approach is taken as to whether it should be a phased one or a big bang approach. Stage 3 Post-implementation stage. The ERP life cycle does not end when the project goes live. After that, the post-impact analysis of the project is done. Generally, after one to two years of implementation, analysis is carried out regarding the optimum utilization of resources in the project. An ERP package is expected to improve the flow of information and formalize all the business processes and workflow that exist in an organization. Many users expect their workload to decrease after an ERP implementation, but this may not always happen. The important thing to understand is that the ERP package is an enabling tool to help the users do their job better, which may call for additional efforts. During the course of ERP implementation, the demand for changing the core package is a common phenomena. The scope of change may vary from a simple cosmetic change to a major functionality change. The consultant has to carefully weigh the impact of such changes and convey this to the users. It is the responsibility of the consultant to help users appreciate the fact that is they who are ultimately benefited by implementing the standard package. The three key issues that could determine the success of an ERP implementation and work towards delivering quicker and better ROI are functionality, the ability of the package to support the best business practices followed in the company's line of business would be a crucial factor in determining the smoothness of implementation. Technology Scalable ERP solutions that support open, non-proprietary technology standards would provide for protection of investment and ensure minimal risk. Implementability of the solution This would be the most crucial 
and significant factor as customer satisfaction and the benefit of ERP would depend not only on functionality but also on ease of configuration, ease of use and the software's flexibility to support optimization of business processes. When organizational changes take place, the software solution should grow and adapt to the changing demands of information needs. After an ERP implementation, organizations should not sit back and relax. Depending on the scope of the ERP implementation exercise, several options can be explored to further maximize the gains. The impact such as financial, operational, organizational, etc. Which ERP implementation had on the total business is calculated and the profitability is measured thereof. It is studied whether further improvements can be done on the project for future upgradation and benefits. The first thing that an organization should look forward to after an ERP implementation is improved morale of the workforce. Needless to say, it would have a cascade effect in terms of increased productivity and better customer response. The first step for implementing an ERP package is to identify the reasons for going in for an ERP solution for business. This step prepares for some basic questions like why should I implement an ERP package? Will it significantly improve my profitability? Will it lead to reduced delivery times for my products? Will it enable me to re-engineer my business processes, etc.? These questions, although very obvious, should form the basis of the decision to adopt an ERP implementation and should at all times be the final goal. Evaluating in this step, one needs to thoroughly understand what existing business processes the organization is following to transact its business. The various business functions should first be enumerated. Deciding upon the desired would-be situation for your business, in this step, we decide on what we want our business processes to finally look like. Here we use the techniques of benchmarking to ensure that the targets set are comparable to the best in the industry. Benchmarking can be done on various aspects of the business like cost, quality, lead time, service, etc. Re-engineering of the business processes to achieve the desired results. To achieve the new business processes, we re-engineer the existing processes in such a manner that the business process cycle time is reduced significantly. Evaluation of the various ERP packages. In this step, various ERP packages available in the market are evaluated with respect to global presence. Check the performance and acceptability of the package globally. Local presence. Check how the package is performing in the local market. This gives an idea as to how well a package is taking care of the country's specific business needs. Investment in R&D. Evaluate the package from the point of view of investments the ERP vendor is making in R&D to continuously upgrade their product. Next is Choice of target market. Price. This is of course the main criteria that decides what package you will finally go in for. Modularity aspect needs to be considered when you want to implement only some particular functions in the ERP package. Obsolence. While considering a package, it is essential to see what would be the active life of the product before it becomes obsolete. Cost of implementation. With large-scale integration of ERP packages and the consequent complexity built into them, it has become essential to consider the cost of implementation, which in some cases can be phenomenal. Post-implementation support. Before deciding on an ERP package, it is advisable to check the quality and range of the post-implementation support that the vendor provides for this package. Finalizing of the ERP package. The process of finalizing can be simplified by making a matrix of the key factors. Installing the requisite hardware and networks. In this step, one has to install the hardware and networks required for the chosen ERP package. The installation of the hardware has to be well planned because generally the hardware arrives in time and lies idle due to the delays in implementation. 
finalizing the implementation consultants, implementation of the ERP package. The broad steps involved in the implementation of the ERP package are formation of implementation team, preparation of implementation plan, mapping of business processes onto the package, gap analysis, customization, uploading of data from existing systems, user training, post implementation support and system monitoring and fine tuning. Now let us check if you have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. ERP implementation is a special event since it involves the entire organization over a period of time. Right or wrong? Right. The ERP life cycle does end when the project goes live. Right or wrong? Wrong. It is not the responsibility of the consultant to help users appreciate the fact that is they who are ultimately benefited by implementing the standard package. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Successful implementation is the obvious goal of any organization that has chosen to go in for Enterprise Resource Planning ERP. ERP implementation is a special event since it involves the entire organization over a period of time. It brings together different functionality, people, procedures and ideologies and leads to sweeping changes throughout the organization. Any ERP implementation is a special event since it involves the entire organization over a period of time. Project management schedules are made in which the project orientation, time, cost and quality are considered. The ERP life cycle does not end when the project goes live. After that, the post-impact analysis of the project is done generally. An ERP package is expected to improve the flow of information and formalize all the business processes and workflow that exist in an organization. Many users expect their workload to decrease after an ERP implementation, but this may not always happen. During the course of ERP implementation, the demand for changing the code package is a common phenomena. After an ERP implementation, organizations should not sit back and relax. Depending on the scope of the ERP implementation exercise, several options can be explored to further maximize the gains. The impact such as financial, operational, organizational, etc which ERP implementation had on the total business is calculated and the profitability is measured thereof. The broad steps involved in the implementation of the ERP package are formation of implementation team, preparation of implementation plan, mapping of business processes onto the package, gap analysis, customization, uploading of data from existing systems, user training, post-implementation support and systems monitoring and fine-tuning.